studies on the impact of a father's absence suggest that it has a negative impact on a child's overall academic performance and that the child will struggle socially. A 2021 Stats SA report showed that only 31.7% of black children are raised with their biological fathers at home. Now, this is compared with 51.3% uh, of colored children, over 86% of Indian children, and over 80% of white children. Nonprofit organization The Character Company is on a mission to improve the lives of fatherless boys. So let's discuss this now with Yaku van Skalflik, who joins me uh, for this conversation. Yaku, thank you for your time and uh, a good morning to you. Gareth and I were just complimenting the name of the NGO, uh, the Character Company. I mean, speak so much about uh, where you see the solution could begin with the character, you know, of the, of the child. But let's talk about these stats. Quite worrisome. 70% of SA children growing up in single parent homes. Uh, what are you finding then as far as fatherless children uh, being concerned? Uh, firstly, morning to, to you and your listeners, and thank you very much for having us. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 st the statistics is horrifying. 70% um, of kids are growing up in single-parent homes. In our experience, almost four out of five boys do not have a positive male role model in their lives. And if you look at the challenges that we face in our country, like gender-based violence, corruption, racism, suicide, these are all symptoms of a, of an, of a, of a fatherless society. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we're very, very specific about is that it is time that we stop talking about the fact that we need to do something and that, and that we start actually doing something. Mm. You know, we, we can stand on podiums at uh, election times and talk about these issues and uh, that, that's just never changing, but we're not, we're not facing the reality that this is a massive problem. And so the character company, we, we believe that it's, uh, that it's only through taking action that we can do that. So we run a long-term mentorship program yeah. for young boys that are growing up with absent fathers or where there's no positive role models. And we, we develop character, we instill values. Um, we essentially just pitch up and we, we're just there to walk this journey with these young men that are, that are, that are finding this so challenging mm. and that are just, you know, a lot of this acting out of the frustration that they're dealing with and no one, no one helps them through that process. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm raised by a single mother, so many households being raised by single women. They're doing a fantastic job trying to play the mom and dad role. But in your experience, I mean, what is it about the absence of a role of a father figure that impacts a young boy to struggle with academics, to struggle socially and potentially end up being an adult who is still, you know, emotionally struggle, who's still not in touch uh, with, a, I suppose, being a good citizen uh, in one's community? So, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, we've got, uh, we've got some amazing uh, moms on our program that are doing just a phenomenal job, you know, hats off to them. Mm. And, uh, and, and the reality is that this is, you know, parenting is not, it's not a one-person job. Parenting, there's, yeah. a, there's a reason why mom and dad is involved in this and why it is so important and vital. Mm. And the thing that we just see time and time again with our boys is that you know, essentially dad holds the key, especially between the ages of five and 10, roughly there, to, to help establish um, character, discipline, value systems, identity. One of the most important things is identity. And this conversation that we're having so often with boys is that fact that when the father is absent, as a boy, I need to hear from my dad that I've got what it takes. Yeah. I need to hear that I'm worth fighting for, that, I'm, that, I've, you know, that he's going to be there for me. And if it's not, then unfortunately, I look at myself and I go, well, something is wrong with me. I'm not good enough. He's not spending time with me. And that thing starts laying a foundation that is ultimately just continuing through my life and the challenges I face and that frustration, if it's not dealt with, if there's no, no one that helps us to understand those emotions and the fact that I actually have a control over what I do with the emotions, then we end up with a stuff like, like gender-based violence. Mm. You know, the 15-year-old the, the or the 17-year-old that's involved in a, a gang rape or school stabbing. You know, 12, years old, 12, 12 years ago, that was a five-year-old that we just ignored. Yeah. And we have to start taking responsibility for this. I mean, children's, children live out what they see, not what they've been told. And parents know that. Yeah. And right now, our, our young people, the next generation, are behaving in horrendous ways because of the example that we've set for them. There's so, no accountability. I can yeah. do what I want. You know, there's... This is like, yeah, it's, it's, it's time that we start stepping up to the plate and start fixing this. Absolutely. So, so, so it, it's social, it's a, it's a social problem. We see it in academics, um, uh, professionally. So, so what do you do? 52 mentors, uh, mentors, I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong here. 52 mentors that you have under the character uh, company, Yaku. What does your day look like? Your 24 hours look like with the boys? Does it, does it include health? Does it include exercise, conversation? What do you get up to with the young men? Yeah, so the, these amazing, I mean, at the moment, 52 mentors across the country, I mean, these amazing men that could uh, just literally fix everything, uh, <laughs> they're out there week in, week out, and they are 
So, so these boys are from single parent homes, some children's homes. These mentors go out there, they, they spend time with these boys at least once a week and they build relationships. You know, you know this is a, the reason why this is a long-term mentorship program. So we take in boys from the age of five, um, between five and 10 when they come into the program and then they stay with us um, in the program itself. And we, we develop them, we teach them how to be mentors themselves. Um, the, the reason why it's long-term is because this problem wasn't started overnight. Mm. And so these mentors are going out there, they, um, they check in with these boys on a regular basis. Our mom support program uh, deals with the moms, help them with support. But these boys are, you know, and it's an active space. And it's not, you know, one of the things we're trying to do is to build healthy masculinity. So it's not about, you know, jumping off cliffs and, um, you know, you know, having six packs. That's not what a man is about. It's about healthy masculinity, which is a value system, which right. is, means kindness and being vulnerable and, you know, and, and living out an unselfish life. Um, it's very act activity based because our, our kids spend way too much time on technology and on phones, you know, like this the whole time. So no technology allowed in our program when you're there, no, none of camps. Uh, and so we're out there, we play ball in the park, yeah. we go cycling, we rock climbing, whatever it is, the activity. But then we have themes that we discuss every month, things that we believe help us to build, you know, better men, you know, yeah. you know good men, like stuff like communication and our value systems. Yeah. We uh, camp, we camp all over. As I'm listening so, to you talk, uh, actually, I'm thinking that's exactly what a father would do. No phones in the house while we're having dinner. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's get to know each other. Let's play ball, right? So I'm just seeing a, a family yeah. unit as you're talking. But you are saying as the country, let's not just take a look and sit back and watch the character company do all the work. There's a fundraiser event that you are saying the country can be a part of. What is it all about? How do we participate? So yes, the, the question is not, you know, do I get involved? The question is, how do I get involved? Mm. I mean, if we don't go out there and we start fixing this problem, we need to stop complaining about it. Um, so we, we're having a fundraiser on the weekend of the 22nd or the 23rd, any one of those days. And the thing about this is that we've made it so that everyone can participate. I mean, the whole country can just take part in it. And first and foremost, we want to raise awareness of the impact of absent fathers. It is time that we start talking about this. It's time that we start talking about it and then immediately step into action because we, we, it lies with us. Government's not going to fix this. We have to fix it. And so uh, we're saying get out there, do something active, uh, go to our website and check it out. And it's a, what we call run, cycle, walk, swim. Mm -hmm. And you can do it anywhere. So you can cycle in your lounge, you can swim in your bathtub, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the idea is to put a team together, yeah. get some friends and just uh, and, and come and do something and help us to raise awareness first and foremost. And then help us to raise funds for this. The Absolutely. idea is to get people to support the initiative and so we can put more mentors out there. I mean, 52 mentors is amazing. But the problem is so big. We need men out there to go like, you know what? I need to do something. I right. can step into the space and become mentors. Thank you so much for speaking to me, Yako. I appreciate you, of course, coming on uh, to the South African Morning and highlighting this uh, issue and saying you can also be a mentor from anywhere you are. Joining the uh, 2022 uh, fundraiser event alongside the character company. And uh, Yaku says that we can build, of course, these young men who unfortunately do not have their biological fathers in their households. Thank you so much to Yaku Fanskolfake from the character company.